Hello, this is Greg with a fresh word for you for this Friday. We're talking about children today. And I want to ask you, why is it that you and I tend to forget about the children, our children, the children that are around us? What do I mean by this? The things that you and I do sometimes, we forget that it will have adverse effects on our children. We can tend to get so selfishly caught in our own lives that we forget that if I do this, this is how it's going to affect the children. So I'm asking you today to start thinking about the children. You don't even have to be a Christian. But everything that we say to our children and everything that we do has to align. The children will see it. Especially for us Christians, we will go to church. We'll, we'll talk about the word of God. We'll talk about love. But when we get home, we sit and gossip. We treat other people harshly. The children are seeing both. What you're saying and what you're doing is not aligning. They get confused and say that Christianity is not real because I've seen what my father, my mother, my sister, my brother have been doing. So I want to challenge you this. That didn't come out like this. I want to tell you, I want to show you why it's so important. If you read the book of Genesis 18 and verse 19, the reason why God chose Abraham, because God knew that Abraham is the one that is going to teach his children and his children's children. It says that, for I have chosen him that he will direct his children and his household after him to keep the way of the Lord by doing what is right and just, so that the Lord will bring about for Abraham what he has promised. God chose Abraham because he knew that Abraham is going to teach his children. But not only to teach, but to keep them in that way. So that means everything that he said and he did had to align. You and I need to start looking at our lives and saying, the values that I'm teaching my children and the actions that I do, are they aligning? And if you're not teaching your children the word of God, I encourage you, I implore you to start doing now. They're never too young to learn the word of God. They're never too young to pray. Acts 2 and 38, when Peter was talking to the disciples, not to the disciples, to, to the people after on the day of Pentecost, he says, repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus and your sins will be forgiven. I say, this promise is not only to us, but to our children as well. Your children need to hear the word of God. Not only at church, but from you and through your actions. That way, they will believe that it is true that which you're teaching them. Otherwise, they will get confused. And there's already, already a lot of confusion in this world. So whatever happens today, I just want to say that, think about the children. Father, I pray that from this day onwards, we'll uphold, we will hold our children to the highest standard. And we'll, we will, yeah, we pray, Heavenly Father, that you keep our children safe. And that you give us wisdom so that the words and our actions may glorify your name in the eyes of our children. In Jesus' name, amen.